the AND rule states that if two events, A and B, are independent, then the probability of A and B happening is the probability of A times by the probability of B happening. So remember, this only works if they are independent. So we know that these two are independent. As in, one, one happening doesn't affect the other happening. The OR rule states that for two events, A and B, then the probability of A or B occurring is the probability of A plus the probability of B take away the probability of them both occurring, so the probability of A and B. If A and B cannot happen together, as in if A happens, then B is impossible or vice versa, we say they are mutually exclusive, then we would have the probability of A and B is equal to zero because they can't both happen at the same time. So this rule would reduce to the probability of A or B is just equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Probability trees are similar to frequency trees, but instead we put the probabilities on the branches and the events at the end of each branch. So in this case, we've got a bag that contains four red balls and five blue balls. Raheem picks two balls at random. Calculate the probability that he selects the same colored ball each time, given that each time a ball is selected, it is replaced. So let's label the branches first. So we'll say this top one is a red, this is blue, and then we can do the same for these ones. Then we need to assign some probabilities. We've got nine balls in total, four plus five. Four are red, so then we have a probability of four ninths of drawing a red. We've got five blue, nine total, so that's five ninths for drawing a blue. Notice how these two that I've just labeled add up to one, because for each event, you should have the total probability to be one. Then the next branches are gonna be exactly the same because we're told the balls are replaced. So this is gonna be four ninths as well. This one's going to be five ninths. This is going to be four ninths. And this is going to be five ninths. We want drawing the same colored ball each time. So that's getting a red, then a red, or a blue, then a blue. So red, red, or blue, blue. So focusing on red, red first, it's four ninths for the probability of getting a red on the first draw. Then on the second, we want to get a red again. So we're going to use the AND rule, because it's red and a red. So we're going to do 4 ninths times 4 ninths, because the probability is the same again. Working that out, well, 16 on the top, 4 times 4, 9 times 9 on the bottom, so 81. Blue then a blue, well, on the first draw, it's 5 ninths. Then the second one, blue and a blue, is 5 ninths again, so the AND rule is being used again. Times these together, you get 25 over 81. From there, these two events are mutually exclusive. What I mean by that is you can't draw a red then a red and a blue then a blue because you're only doing two draws. So to find the total probability of just getting this, the same ball twice, same colored ball each time, we just need to add these two together. So 16 over 81 plus 25 over 81. Working with fractions, the bottom will stay the same. 16 plus 25 is 41. So the probability that he selects the same colored ball each time, given that after each time a ball is selected, it is replaced, is 41 over 81, so a little over half. Non-independent probability trees are similar to probability trees, but the probabilities change depending on the previous events. In this example, we have a bag that contains four red balls and five blue balls, same as the last scenario. Raheem picks two balls at random, still the same. Calculate the probability that he selects the same colored ball each time, given that after each time a ball is selected, it is not replaced. So there's the difference here. You can see it's not being replaced. So after each draw, you have less balls in the next draw. So trying to fill in the tree diagram, let's label the top of this as red, and this as blue, and then the same for the other branches. From there, the first probabilities are gonna be exactly the same. We've got nine balls in total at the start, four are red, so that's a probability of four ninths. And then for blue, nine in total, five blue, so five ninths. Again, these two add up to one. Just double check across your branches there. 
For the second draw, if we drew a red on the first one, there would only be three red left. For the second, if red on first, then there'd only be three red left. Okay? So that, and there would only be eight balls left in total. You had nine originally, one's been taken out and not put back. So eight left, three red, so that's three over eight. Then the number of blue balls will have stayed the same because we drew a red on the first one, but again, the total's gone down. So five apes, these two add up to one, which is exactly what we need it to. For the bottom bit on the second draw, if we drew a blue on the first, there would still be four red balls, but again, eight in total now. So four over eight, and then there was five blue balls originally, but we've taken one out, so there's four left. So four over eight, and again, these two add up to one. So we're looking at selecting the same color twice, so red then a red, or a blue then a blue. So a red then a red would be four nipes, then three apes. Now to check whether we're going to add these or times these, we want red and a red. So it's the and rule. So we're multiplying. Four times three is 12. Nine times eight is 72. You could simplify this fraction, but I'm going to leave it as is for now. It doesn't ask you to simplify after all. Um, so the next one, we could have a blue, then a blue. So again, this was the and rule. We're going to do the same thing here. Blue on the first draw is five knives. On the second, it's four apes. So we're multiplying by four apes. Five times four is 20. Nine times eight on the bottom is 72. So we could have either of these. Either of these satisfies our condition because we're just bothered about getting the same ball twice on each of the draws. It doesn't matter whether it's two reds or two blues. It doesn't matter at all. So it's the or rule. So we're going to have 20 over 72 plus 12 over 72, which gives us, well, 20 plus 12 is 32 over 72. Again, you could simplify this fraction with probabilities unless you're asked. There's no need to at all. The reason we use the or rule at the end here is because these two events are mutually exclusive. What that means is they can't both occur at the same time. If I'm only doing two draws, I can't get a red and a red and a blue and a blue. They're two completely separate events. I can't draw both of them. So they are mutually exclusive. So they are mutually exclusive.